All right, so continuing on with our ring plan features. And what we're going to do now is take a look at the sidecar. Now, in a previous video, we went through and went to more and then settings, user interface, and we enabled the sidecar. And that's what we're going to look at now. So when you enable the sidecar, as of recording this video, it creates the sidecar button right here. And when we click on that, what we're going to get is this sidecar. And uh, I'm actually going to go in and there's two different views. I'm going to show you guys how this works. This is the column view. If we come into settings and we go from list to grid, now we've got the grid view. I kind of prefer the grid view personally. Some people like list view better. Um, it just depends on what you want to do. I'm going to go to grid right now. Now, a couple things about the sidecar that are interesting. Uh, there's these buttons, programmable buttons, programmable buttons that you can make, and they are able to do automations. So first thing I'll do is kind of walk through a simple programmable button and how this would work. So I'm going to say, let's say I have a um, vendor that I call all the time and I have to go through three different levels of, or say two different levels of their IVR to get through to the right person that I want to talk to. Uh, let's just call this the, the bank. I don't know. So what I'm going to do is first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dial their phone number. And again, you can select the contact or type of phone number. I'm just going to put our main number in here. Okay. And actually, because that is uh, in my contact directory, it recognized that and said dial Z telco. Cool. So now the first thing I want to do there is, let's say I want to get through to their support team. So now what I can do is I can, say, put a little two-second pause in there. And now I can press option two for support. And let's say that they had another IVR below that. I can put another little two-second pause. And now I can do, say, option one for their second tier of support. And so now if I save this, what would happen is it's going to create, let's just change this to Z Telco support. So now I've got the Z Telco support button. If I hit that, so it actually just went through and hit those options. And uh, so you can actually test that and then see if that does exactly what you want. And theoretically, by getting these little steps in the correct order and then uh, having the right pauses and things in there, um, you can navigate any phone IVR automatically by doing this. And so this is really useful for things like if you wanted to just have a button that gets through to the vendor and you don't have to remember all their options and everything. It makes it way easier to do stuff like that. Um, other things you can do, you know, just anything that you can press a button to do inside the phone, you can basically do with these buttons here. So you can kind of automate a lot of stuff. And um, so there's some really cool things you can do, even changing your statuses and sending text messages out and things like that. So um, I'm not going to go through every single scenario in this video, just making you guys aware of that this exists. And it's a very powerful system that can do a lot of automations built right into our system here. The other thing that you can do is uh, this, that's the general sidecar button option. Uh, you can also uh, wire some of these green, wire some of them gray, wire some of them white. Well, with the green ones, we're doing this thing called watch extension. And so what this is going to do is if I put somebody's extension number in here, it's going to monitor 
their extension. And if their uh, extension, if they go on a call, like for example, they're uh, available, but they're in a meeting. There's a little calendar icon in here. All these guys are in meetings right now. So I can see that their phone is available and it could ring if I were to call them, but they're in a meeting. So maybe I shouldn't do that unless it's important. So that's kind of one thing that this uh, watch extension will do. Um, so you can kind of program other people in the company, watch what they're doing. And then when you have the sidecar up, you can easily see what the status of their phone is. And that's kind of like the traditional sidecar that you might get with the Yay link or something like that would kind of have the same functionality. Next thing is extensions. So we've got all extensions and active extensions, and there's a little search bar here. Um, I usually like to go over to active extensions. Now these are just all the phones that are actually online currently. And you can actually search for this. So if I wanted to, if I had 500 people in my company and I couldn't remember what somebody's extension is, I could just easily go in here and uh, type their name and I can see all the extensions of this person, John, for example, or Bill. Looks like I don't have it. Uh, a bill, but I've got a raw bill. So yeah, this is great for kind of seeing everybody who's online and easily searching for their extension. And I've got queues and I've got all queues and my queues. So queues are an incoming dial plan thing and they're a little bit more advanced, but this is great for call center environments. If you have a call center with an inbound queue, and let's say I want to just filter down to my own queues that I'm personally in. The phone support queue, I can see who's all in that queue uh, and if they're available or not, if they're on a call, things like that. People that are in white, they're not available. People that are in green are available, they can get this call. So we have 18 total agents with 15 available in the phone support queue, for example. And so this is good for call center environments, again, all built right into the sidecar here. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into the settings. If you haven't already done this, go into the user interface. You're going to enable the sidecar. Uh, you can also then get this button, uh, pop the sidecar up. You can add a couple buttons. And then I guess the last thing I didn't talk about yet was um, these are cloud based. So if you do a button on your computer here and then you go home and set this up on your laptop, all the buttons should be synced in the cloud and uh, you should have the same buttons here that you do on your home computer, for example. Also, if you want one last little trick, you can actually import and export these buttons. So if I wanted to just say, replicate this button layout to somebody else, I could easily export this and then they could import it and then their button layout would match what you have. So what you're going to do is go in and just enable the sidecar. You're going to program a button and just, you know, get used to using it and uh, see if there's uh, any questions that you have about that. And uh, we can move on to the next section. All right. Now it's your turn.